All right, so that was numbers. Let's uh, look at the next data type. String. Strings are sequences of Unicode characters. These are 16-bit characters. There's no character data type in JavaScript. Everything is a string. So if, it, if there's a piece of text, it's a string. If it's just one character, it's basically a string with the length of one. Okay, so strings are the types used to represent text, while numbers are the types used to represent numbers. So you can see that the type system is fairly simplified in the case of JavaScript. You don't have a bunch of different uh, types for numbers and two different types for text. It's number data type for all kinds of numbers and uh, the string data type for all kinds of text. Okay, so that makes things a bit simpler. Uh, the next data type is Boolean. Boolean, as you know, has a value of true and false. So a Boolean value can either be true or it can be false. And uh, these uh, Boolean values can be used for conditionals inside uh, for loops, inside while loops, and uh, they can affect the flow of the program and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna demonstrate string and Boolean using a demo. And uh, I'm, I'm also gonna demonstrate another interesting factor of type system in JavaScript. If you see here, I have a equals 10, b equals 20, and I have c is a plus b, so c has a value of 30. Now let's say I do a var d equals hello. All right, so d is a string. Let me move this up. D is a string with the value hello. I'm gonna have a var e equals true. So e is a Boolean, the value true. And now I can print these values. Let's say I print D here and I print E here. I'm gonna clear this out and uh, run this. There you go, all those values are printed. Notice the color difference. I told you that there is a difference in color based on the type that's getting printed on the console. So the numbers are printed in the color green. The string is printed in a kind of a brownish color and um, the Boolean is red. So this is one way to identify what kind of type is being uh, printed on the console. Okay, so these are, you know, there's not a lot to explain here. It's numbers, string, and Boolean, three simple data types for now. Now, what's interesting about the variable handling in JavaScript is there is no type information associated with a variable. At no point of time can I say A is a number variable. All I can say is A is a variable that happens to hold a number. Why am I establishing this distinction? Let me explain. Now, we know that A has a value of 10, right? A is a number. Now, I can as well say A equals Hello, JavaScript. Now, what would have happened in another language which has strong typing? This would have resulted in a compiler error, right? It would have said, you're trying to put a string into a number variable and it's gonna give an error. This does not happen in JavaScript because JavaScript does not do strong typing. There is no type information associated with a variable. A variable can hold any value at any point of time. So there is, again, like I said, there's no such thing as a number variable or a string variable. So I can uh, print this again. If I were to print console.log of A again, it should print, hello JavaScript, no errors. Okay, JavaScript is totally fine with this. You can assign any value to anything else. This behavior, is called as loose typing or weak typing as it's called. Uh, a lot of these other languages support strong typing. You not only cannot assign a different value to a, a variable, you have to explicitly define what the type is when you are declaring it. So you don't have to do that in the case of JavaScript. JavaScript supports, supports loose typing.